Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Charmaine Johnson from Premier Smile Center. I wanted to shed some light on some different things during this difficult time we were hearing so much about the coronavirus and that's pretty much everything that's on TV. <clears throat> but I wanna talk a little bit about this because it'll help you stay healthy and uh, we can help each other as a community. Um, a lot of patients have asked me this week, what mouthwashes do I use? Um, does Listerine kill the, the viruses and the bacteria? And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about mouthwashes and what we can use. So Listerine is not going to kill the virus. Um, the CDC recommends that we use over 60% alcohol to disinfect. So Listerine doesn't have over 60% of alcohol, so that's not gonna help us. And please don't rinse with rubbing alcohol or anything like that. <clears throat> The other thing that we use as mouthwashes as dentists is something called Peridex. For those patients who have gum disease, we've used it in the past after scaling. That is great for gum disease because it works well for bacteria. So the type of bacteria that causes gum disease, it helps to um, kill those or deactivate those. The one thing that's come out in studies now recently that's going to help with the viruses, whether it's coronavirus, flu virus, or any of those viruses, is hydrogen peroxide. It's 1% of hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> so how that works is um, the flu virus, the wall around it is made up of what we call a lipid or fatty membrane. And that membrane is actually very weak. With the uh, hydrogen peroxide, it has what we call an oxidative process. So what it does is it goes in there and it breaks down that weak wall that the virus has, and that's how it uh, breaks down the virus. And then we rinse and, and then we you know rinse it away down the drain. So the 1% hydrogen peroxide is how, we, how you would use it. You would, um, so when you buy it from the store, it's a 3% hydrogen peroxide. So what you do is you'd mix it, you'd use one part of hydrogen peroxide to two parts of water. Um, you'll rinse for 60 seconds, rinse out, and then you're good. Uh, what you, I would also suggest you do is disinfect your toothbrushes. Just, uh, you know, clean it like you would normally and then leave it in there to soak in the hydrogen peroxide for about five to 10 minutes. Um, lastly, patients with uh, night guards, retainers, Invisalign trays, anything like that, obviously brush it with soap and water, rinse it off, and then soak it in some hydrogen peroxide for about five to 10 minutes. So I hope that helps. Um, you can always call our office. I'm more than happy to answer any other questions you, <clears throat> you might have. The number is 954-566-7475. 566 and I hope you all stay healthy.